As you can see, the tide's on its way in, so we're going to find as many nodules as we can, and then we'll split some, and then carry the rest off onto another part of the beach where we don't have to worry about the tide. I've actually already spotted one just down here below your feet. Oh, wow. that's crazy. Right there, look. Bivalve shell and an absolutely perfect, freshly eroded specimen. That's awesome. So if we've got that just there, I wonder what else is going to be all around here in all this beach. Looks like there's a big nodule just sat down there, actually. Oh, wow. That's lovely and round, that one, isn't it? Oh, that's a perfect nodule. Just by the weight of it, I can tell it's pyritized. So there's going to be a lovely coating of iron pyrite surrounding this nodule. I'm wondering what this is down here as well. Well, you might not be able to see it on camera, but just behind this rock, you've got a partial ammonite in a nodule. And then you've got these pieces, which you're looking at, which look like big lumps of pyrite. You can see in the cross section here, there's actually been an ammonite inside this one. It's been very calcified and not very well preserved. Really nice, all that appearance of all the gold and pyrite. It really is just like a big golden nugget. Another find off camera as well. There's a nodule right here. Another big heavy limestone concretion. It's going to be really exciting to see what's inside these. Those are two of the <laughs> biggest nodules we've seen in, in quite some time. See, there's been a few imprints of some other little ammonite specimens. Some of them are completely stuck in all of this clay. Oh, there's another perfect nodule down here. Let's see if you can see it. It's actually just here in this pool. Oh, look at that. I'm seriously surprised just how many finds we've already managed to come across. It's almost as if every single rock we come across seems to either definitely contain a fossil or has the potential to. I can also see lots of eroded squid. There's another nodule here right now. There's one here as well with an ammonite inside. You see, this one hasn't quite made it out of the clay. It's still slightly stuck in there. Just try and pick that out. It's really well trapped, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. This one's got a guaranteed ammonite inside. I don't know how we're going to carry all these finds off, especially if the big nodules do actually contain fossils. I mean, some of them are bound to be empty, but if most of them contain ammonites and other specimens, we're, we're going to be in a lot of trouble trying to carry all this off. That's the big nodule that I just spotted. Oh, it's huge. Wow. Well, one thing's for sure, it's going to be a heavy <laughs> bag if it does contain something. I spotted another nodule as well. I'm just going to bring you a bit closer and see if you can find it. Get a little bit closer. You can just about make out the edge of something hiding there. Looks like a really big, chunky ammonite. Immediately after we've just found those fossils, Shay's shouted me over because he's found something extra special. I've left it exactly where it is. So do you want to do a bit of a spot the fossil, Aaron? It should, yeah. be, quite, it should be quite an easy one. I've not seen it yet myself, so I'm going to also be looking. I'm presuming it's somewhere in this area. It's just in this section here. And what you're looking for is a really large ammonite. Okay, I can see it now quite clearly. And I'm actually really, really shocked that we've come across something this epic. Can you see it yet? A little bit closer. It's one of the most obvious finds we've had in a long, long time. The size of that. This is the type of fossil that we came here for. Can't wait to reveal this one with the hammer and chisel. Looks like it's a Hildoceros ammonite, most likely a Hildoceros lucitanicum. What an awesome find. There's another nodule down here, Aaron. Literally just sitting here. It's another nicely rounded rock. There's actually another one hidden under this boulder. Let's see if I can get it. So just in that crack, there's another perfectly round nodule. Can't remember the last time we've had this much <laughs> luck, to be honest. No. Everywhere you turn, there's just nodule after nodule. I've been having quite a look about as well, and straight away, as well as the other finds that we've had, we've come across another couple of freshly exposed nodules. So we'll get this one out of the water first. Looks like there could be something here. If you just have a look around here, Shay, I can see... Oh wow, look at that. Edge. First things first, here's this nodule. Looks a bit like a smiley face. Yeah. An eye, eye, <laughs> nose and a mouth. 
<laughs> let's hope it's a sign that there's something inside of it. The tide's coming in really close now, as you can see. We've still got plenty of time to safely get off the beach, but we're going to be looking here for maybe five, ten more minutes, and then we're going to unfortunately have to make our way back off the beach and ultimately leave lots of finds here. That just means there's lots of other finds for when other people come onto the beach or when we next come back here. The next find then is the one that we've just spotted trapped under the boulder. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> perfect. It's all in there as well. That's stunning, isn't it? I can't remember the last time we had such luck. Further up ahead also, I've noticed that some of the sandstone has broken open and revealed lots of really cool plant fossils. So let's go have a look at those. Often when we find as many nodules as we found today, we put them on separate rocks, but we're just going to put them all on one rock. Otherwise we won't be able to re-find them all again. So there's so many. You can see we have quite a collection of nodules already. Just over there, you can see a bit of the sandstone has broken away due to natural erosion and it's revealed loads of compressed plant fossils. Looks like it's part of fossil tree stems or other pieces, but I can't see any leaf fossils. It's really beautiful if some of the leaf fossils are present, but on this occasion, I can't see any leaf fossils at all. Nonetheless, it's a really, really nice example that there's just so many other specimens around here to be found. Even if you look just across here, there's another big boulder, which clearly has had some other plant specimens at some point, and they've all just worn away. Some of the definition of those specimens are really nice. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for some sort of leaf, so you can have a look at a really nice, well-preserved, intricate specimen. I can't see any right now. The other thing I've spotted is just up in the clay, there's what looks to be a really round nodule that I'm hoping does contain something. On our way over, I've spotted here a couple of belemnite fossils. You can see these have been naturally eroded as well. You can see where the entire specimen has been. The very tip has also been eroded away. Oh, it's loose. This is a squid-like creature called a belemnite. Got really nice intricate structures. There's another smaller example there. This one looks to be fully preserved. Really tiny. You can see the size difference. And even this here is it's quite a small belemnite, so this is really, really tiny. Let's leave these here for someone else to have a look at. The nodule that I spotted, Shay, is right there. That's a nice looking nodule, isn't it? So I'm just going to lift that out. If it's nice and round, we should be in luck. So this lump of clay here is from when this fall has actually fallen. So all of this is just part of a secondary slip. So it's not actually fixed in place to the actual cliff itself. Oh. I'm going to be really surprised if that doesn't contain one. I mean, it's literally just what you want, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This looks incredible. We can't find any more fossils that we want to take home right now. Everywhere we look, there's still fossils here. At some point in the future, we're gonna to have to come back and have another look. The next thing we're going to do is just split a few of the bigger rocks that we put on this boulder. And then the rest of the nodules, we're gonna just take a little bit further up the beach because the tide is coming in and we need to make sure we safely get off the beach before it gets too close. Let's open up a few of these nodules down here. Which one do you wanna get started with? Well, they all look pretty exciting, so I don't really have a fear. Favorite. So we might as well just start with one of the ones on the top. Let's start with this one. Just putting my safety glasses on. So I've split a top layer off, but I haven't quite gone into the center of the nodule yet. So I'll give it another hit. There's a fossil inside. I got a little glimpse. Let's have a look. Whoa! Whoa. That's a nice one, isn't it? That is superb. Wow. That's a beautiful one, isn't it? When it first broke off that top layer, I felt sure it was going to be empty. That is beautiful. Let's crack open another one. I think I'll try this one next, where you could already see some partial ammonites. Whoa, got a split. But completely oh. empty. Let's try this nodule next. There we are. Oh. But another empty one. We're going to split open this big one now. Let's go into the last one that we split in this area, just because the tide is coming in, and then we'll continue splitting these ones further along. There we are. Nice clean split, and I think there's something inside. No I don't wanna, way. I don't want to spoil it, but I can actually see something just starting to appear within the crack. Might be able to see oh it on camera. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? <laughs> there's something there, isn't there? 
Oh, oh, look at that. That's just ridiculous. What on earth? I've got to be honest, when we split nodules open that are this big, they're usually empty. So this is incredible. This is really something special. I am blown away by this. By the look of it, this ammonite has been huge. And these partial bits that you can see here are where the outer body chamber has crushed in on itself. So these parts here are actually part of this ammonite. But during preservation, they've crushed. I'll tell you what, it's definitely one for the collection, this, isn't it? We've made it now to the other part of the beach where we're well away from the tide. Let's line up these other nodules, which we found but didn't crack open yet. And we're gonna open them all up. We've got that awesome Hildoceros ammonite. Four more large nodules. If these don't contain anything, we've also got a couple of other nodules we're going to be opening as well. So let's get started. First one's being empty. Even if these are all empty, we can't really complain <laughs> with the amount of finds we've had. Oop. Oh, <laughs> what's this? It's a nice bit of Jurassic poo. Ah. Got a coprolite fossil in there. Pretty classic shape for a coprolite. That's really cool. We'll take that one home and Definitely. see if dad wants to prepare it. So, oh, empty that one. Empty, coprolite, empty. What do you reckon? Is this going to be a fossil? Yeah, I'm going to say a fossil. Oh. There is a fossil inside. It just hasn't split fully over the fossil. But there is actually an ammonite in there. It's definitely worth taking to prepare further. Absolutely. We know for a fact this is a fossil. It's that beautiful Hildoceros that Shea found. So I'm under the impression we're going to use a hammer and chisel for this one. We are indeed. I think this is the best side to go for. We've got a thin shard of limestone that's come off. It hasn't split over the fossil just yet. Still hasn't split over the fossil just yet. I think we'll try once more and if it doesn't, we might have to just take it home as it is. You can see we've started to reveal the Hildoceros further within the centre, but I'm not going to try and reveal it any further just because we're going to risk breaking it. So we'll take it home as it is. Just before we finish up, I'd like us to open this big nodule which we pulled from the clay. I want to see, does it actually contain a fossil? We've also got this block of shells as well. They just disintegrated in my hand, but Whoa. out of all of it, there was. the fossils just come out of it. It's a little Hildoceros <laughs> ammonite. The limestone must have been really <laughs> fragmented on the inside and the fossil was just loose. Literally it was just, just like a magic trick. I can't believe it. See some lovely yellow calcite in there as well. Stunning. And now for the block of shells. So we've revealed some of the shells and also see the rest of the ammonite starting to expose. Oh yeah. Lovely and shiny, aren't they? Let's try a little bit more. There we are. So you can see where the ammonite was exposed. So it's just been the cross section, but within there's a perfect center. Pretty cool. You don't often see the shells with the ammonites in association. Next up, we're going to split this ammonite that was in the chunky nodule. Yay, lovely. Well, we've run out of time now, but the time we did have, we found some incredible fossils. We're so pleased with all of our finds. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.